thinking about doing this, don't be afraid. Just make sure you don't have stuff in the ground that you're gonna dig up. Well, the ground is now marked out where there's potential underground issues. I found the gas line using the divining rods, whatever you want to call them. And then here's the septic line going into the house. Remember I did this the other day? Well, if you look, there's a line, just like I pointed out. There's a box across the street, and then there's the line. Ditch witch. Turn the gas on, give it a little choke, a little bit of throttle. easy that was the cold start for the morning it's a 36 inch deep trencher and you ever you ever operate one of these pretty simple you put this in gear and it engages the chain it's a hydraulic engagement or the other way to reverse it to unclog it this raises and lowers goes forwards just like a skid steer. You go forward or you go backwards. The backwards is for trenching. This is for driving and getting it there. Here we go. So I steer just like a skid steer. I push more on this side and it steers it. We're going to aim for the telephone pole. So far so good. It's gone very well, very quickly. I'm gonna show you how it works. Here we go. Oh, and the goal was uh, 24 inches. And there it is right there at 24. Okay, fire it up. stationary right now. Now I squeeze this thing, squeeze the handle back. I can go right or left. I'm putting more force on the left tire. And what you want to do is pull it back slightly. Now we're rolling. And I pull it back to the point where it's almost the tire is almost slipping. And then you're getting maximum speed out of the uh, trencher. You can see that I push that tire a little bit. Simple guys, not rocket science, so if you need to put your power in the ground for, oh, let's say you had a tornado or something, uh, you could do it, or for security. Bad guys can't get to the buried cable. Yeah, they can get to the pole, but it's just one less issue. Notice I can do this one-handed. <laughs> this machine makes it so easy. Well, went behind the house, everything went well. The old copper pipe was marked well. The new plastic pipe, I cut it, cut it in half and now, I, now I've got another project. The trenching is going very well. Uh, it's a good day to be trenching. I've trenched before on different soil. 
and it can take a lot longer. So, but still doing it with, I usually use two hands, but to make the video I'm making, using one. But it's going well, and don't be afraid if you're thinking about doing this. Don't be afraid. Just make sure you don't have stuff in the ground that you're going to dig up. This should be roughly 100. There you go, 100 feet. That's how we do it. In our case, we've taken this bad situation and turned it into an opportunity. Now we're so much closer to the completion of our off-grid project, the diesel hybrid project, by taking our home, our barn, garage, and pole barn off-grid. I hope this video encourages you to go out there and jump into something that you've never done before, like trenching or a major home project. Be safe, be thoughtful when you do it, but go ahead and do it. Good luck on your next project.